Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. And many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Okay? I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in into your lives only the purest of white lights and the highest of vibration. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. All evil plans of the enemies, all negative and dark plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled, are dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So someone out there, the message for you is that everybody knows, <clears throat> okay? This is what I woke up to this morning. This is the message I received this morning. So I want to take time for us to look into it so you can understand what I'm saying, what this message means. Everybody knows. Everybody knows is this. A lot of you out there in the light community, you're going through attacks by people that don't want to see you move forward. They're trying to block your forward movement, but it's in short. There's something where some of you are supposed to be in certain relationships with other people, whether it's partnership in business or in love, whatever it is. These are divine contracts from the most high. You have enemies that are trying to block these contracts because they don't want you and that person, you and that entity, the company, moving forward and creating some type of new reality that's going to be exposing these darker dark workers these workers of darkness right it's going to subdue their kingdom bring their kingdom to an end so the kingdom of light can rise up okay so that's why they're trying to block you all someone out there you're supposed to receive some type of letter in regards to a position that you have been assigned you have this position in the spirit realm, in the physical. It has been secure for you. It's a matter of you coming in contact with this position. But there are people, dark energies, that are taking specific steps to block you, try to block you from receiving this information, pre prevent this person from coming to you so that you two can start working together, okay? So what they are doing behind the scenes is that they are bribing people behind the scenes. If you work for a company now, they've bribed the higher ups in that company. If you live in a neighborhood, whether you rent the neighborhood, whether you uh, 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 like a house or uh, uh, an apartment building, the landlords have been bribed, the higher ups in those companies have been bribed to keep you stuck to bring you problems and things of that nature. So everybody knows that is what that means. Everybody around you knows. You may not have known, but it's been brought to your attention now that everyone around you knows what's going on, including your families and friends. They know that you have some type of opportunity that's destined for you, has been insured to you, and there are people working behind the scenes to block those opportunities. It will not be prospering out of their uh, plans. It's cute. You know, it's entertainment for the most high. So we're going to let them get all of the entertainment they want. But at the end of the day, you are still going to be receiving your blessings in due time. Whatever organization, whatever person you're supposed to be connecting with they are aware that there is someone or a group of people behind the scenes trying to interfere or block this offer from coming to you so they're going to hold back right now until you are in like a secure location where you are able to receive this message or able to meet with this person that's supposed to give it or present it to you okay so some of you may be feeling the need to move relocate something of that nature and you are being advised to do that okay 
Some of you are in situations where things are not looking promising. You don't know if you're going to be able to move. Pray about it. Talk to the Most High to guide your path, guide your direction, tell you where to move, <clears throat> what to do, what actions to take, and be discreet about it, okay? Your enemies are tracking you in many different ways, through third eye, second eye, whatever you want to call it, have cameras on you, GPS tracking you, let them do whatever they want. At the end of the day, it's entertainment because your enemies are going to sit back and watch you step into the position that the Most High has secured for you. So let them keep keep entertaining you and the Most High and your uh, your ancestors. Excuse me while I get a uh, sip of my vibe. Let them keep entertaining. This is all for your growth, okay? As you can see here, you're going to be receiving some type of information. <clears throat> it's gonna give you clarity. And this has to do with your abundance. This has to do with, with your finances, okay? You're going to be receiving some type of information. Someone may be trying to block your finances for some of you, block law, betray you, get you trapped in something, say maybe you stole some money, there's some type of effort people are making so that you can stay trapped in some type of situation, but it's not going to work, okay? Your communities are being taken over by dark workers. So people are moving out and these negative energies are moving in because they want to surround you so they can know, hey, you don't have any way out. We're surrounding you. We have the power. It is an illusion. They don't have any power. These are people that are acting out of desperation. They're desperate to subdue you, but they know they cannot. You are a child of the Most High. You have the upper hand in the situation. They know that. Even their masters, their leaders, okay? Let's say whoever they're considering the devil in the clan, that person, he or she knows that they cannot touch you. It will release an all-out war between them and the kingdom of light. So all they can really do is try to use scarcity tactic, fear, try to intimidate you, want you to feel like, oh, we are watching you. We have access to your phone. Let them have access to whatever they want. If you're someone like myself, you don't have anything to hide. There's nothing anyone's going to find out about me, for example, that's going to make me say, oh, I'm going to shy away. I don't want people to know this about me. Find whatever you want. Look for whatever you want. You obviously have time to waste, money to waste, if you're bribing people behind the scenes. So if it's me, do whatever you want, okay? So you are in situations like that. Someone wants to send you a message, right, about something that has to do with your finances. You may be coming into some type of abundance. They want to tell you how someone stole this, someone took this, right? Someone shouldn't have blocked love. Like I said before, you're supposed to have a brand new passion and beginning in love for some of you. Something that also has to do with creativity. You and whoever are supposed to come together, whether it's a business or a person, you are supposed to be working together to manifest some type of new reality. There's some type of business for someone specific. It's not doing too well. But the person that owns this business knows that you can restore the business. So they want you to step in and take over, right? And this is what these dark workers do not want because they've been uh, <clears throat> destroying this business for years because they're greedy, right? And they, of course, they want to stay in their positions because they benefit from staying in those positions. Positions right now, what these workers of uh, darkness are doing in these positions is doing uh, uh, uh what is what do they call it? Uh, uh, uh cont public control PR controls. I forgot what the term was, it was literally on my tongue and then it left. Damage control, thank you. They're trying to do damage control. So, this is like when, when a toxic company goes from being toxic to now being of ethics. They're pretending, oh, we care about our employees. We want to make sure you're happy. You know, I'm your friend. I want to look out for you, blah, 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 blah. This is all a facade. They don't give a crap about these employees. 
They don't give a crap about these employees. All they care about is money. They have a system they've put in place that works for them, not the employees, not the company's future. It works for them, and they want to keep that agenda going because they're, they're prospering from that. These people are greedy. It's all about greed. And they know the moment you step into that company, it's game over for them. There's no more sneakiness. There's no more maliciousness. There's no more stealing money from the company. You're going to get just what you deserve. If your paycheck said is $28 per hour, you're getting $28 per hour. If your yearly incentive is supposed to be $500, that's what you're getting, $500 per, uh, a year. These people are greedy. They want to trap you in some type of financial obligation. They will not be able to. You are a child of God. Someone wants to send you a message about some type of financial responsibility you have something of that nature they cannot bind you to any contract because the most high is not having it the most high said hey that's my child they don't belong to your kingdom you know they don't belong to your kingdom so i don't know why you're playing these little games so we're going to entertain your foolishness for a while but when i get sick and tired of you just know it's in time for you someone wants to bring you financial problems but they cannot. I'm telling you, they cannot. Because you see things clearly. Something is being looked over. Something is being reconsidered. They said, oh, I want to hold on to this blessing that belongs to someone else in the most high. It's like, I think not. Absolutely not. You will be returning it to who it belongs to. That blessing, you're not worthy of that blessing. You have not done the necessary work. You haven't healed. You're not in this Ace of Cups energy. You absolutely do not deserve it, and you will not be keeping it. Thank you. The Most High is intervening. The Most High is intervening. There's someone of a high status. Spiritually, physically, you're supposed to be working with. They are receiving some type of message, good news about you. You can, be, you, you can expect to receive good news from this person as well at some point. But they are receiving some type of good message either from you or about you. Okay? They, can, they could be hearing that you're standing your ground. You're choosing to move forward regardless of what the enemies are doing around you. Trying to intimidate you, but it's not working. It's not working. It's not going to work. You're still going to be experiencing growth and acceleration, promotions, right? You're coming out of a period of like, I'm telling you. You are coming out of a period of like and stepping into abundance. And this is what the enemy has been trying to block because they know the moment, as I said, the moment you step into your destiny is end game for these people. Your higher level soulmate or the universe is advocating on your behalf. You're taking actions to make sure things are going in your favor. Maybe you have a hidden helper you don't know about. We're going to leave that hidden helper hidden. We're not going to look into him or her. They're making sure your pathway is clear. Whether this is your guardian angel, whether this is your higher level soulmate, whether this is someone the universe assigned to look out for you, we're going to leave them just as that. We're not looking into them. We don't need to know who they are, who they aren't. Okay? But it looks like they're taking action on your behalf to advocate for you. They're like your avenging angel. You see how there's an angel here and then there's a, 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 a knight of source out here taking action. This is your avenging angel. They're, they're working to bring balance into your life. To make sure you receive what's yours. This is how the universe works. It doesn't matter how many low vibrational dark entities, energy workers get together. Thinking they're, gonna, they're about to bring you problems. The universe is literally sitting back and watching them. Hey, this is how I divinely orchestrated this to go. So you're doing just what you're supposed to do in your contract when it comes to this person. But just so you know, I don't care how many of you minions get together. This person is still receiving your inheritance why because you stuck to your contract contract after you incarnated the universe said hey or the consoles they said hey when you incarnate 
this is what you're going to be doing, right? And you say, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing. Obviously, when we're in the spirit realm, there's no pain, there's no hurt, there's no, like, setbacks and things like that. You're not going through trials and tribulations, so we for, we don't... Uh, uh, not forget, we don't uh, uh, put emphasis on the emotional trauma we're going to experience when we incarnate. And then we incarnate and things hit us in the face when we're like, oh, I didn't expect it to be this way. I didn't remember that it was this crazy, right? It was this tumultuous. But regardless of what you've been going through, you stuck to your broom. You're like, yeah, I'm still going to stick to my path. I don't care how difficult it is. I don't care what who's doing, who's betraying me, who's not betraying me, who's pretending that they don't know what's going on. I already don't know what's going on. It's been revealed to me. I'm going to keep going, right? And I'm going to take the necessary actions per the most high to get what's mine. Your enemies are sitting back right now wondering what is she going to do? What is he going to do? What action are they going to take? We need to know what they're going to do so we can prevent it. They can't prevent nothing. If it's a court case, it's coming. If it's a prison sentence, it's coming. There's nothing they can do. Some of your enemies are not going to go to prison. What's going to happen is they're going to lose everything. That's a prison in and of itself. To go from high class to smack down bottom of the barrel. Now you have to figure out how you're going to get your next meal. You may have families to feed. You got to figure it out. Just like that star seed had to figure it out when you were tempering with their finances and their income. You're going to have to figure it out. Okay? So some of your enemies, they won't be going to prison. But what will happen, they will be losing everything. Their stability, their luxurious lifestyle, they're trying to hold on to and keep stealing from people and companies. It's coming to an end. And they know it. That's the thing about it. They know it's coming to an end. And they can't stop it. Right now, they're kind of just dragging things out. and say, well, we know we're, we're, we're not going to be here forever. We know our time is coming to an end. But we're going to go out with a bank. So let's drag this out as long as possible. And the most high is just looking at them like, I don't know how long you think that you're going to be dragging this out. But your time is up. Your time is up. Okay? And you're showing up in these beautiful energies, right? Yeah, someone is taking action on your behalf. This could be the universe, as I said, or this is someone that's hidden from you. Let them stay hidden. Okay? That person knows who you are on a core level. So even if you said something that may have maybe upset them or something, they know you on a core level. They're going to come in and do their best to work things out with you. They may understand, not may, they understand. I was being, I was told to correct myself. They understand why you're possibly doing certain things that you are doing, why you are cutting people off, why you are distancing yourself from certain people. Maybe you distance yourself from this person and you don't know it. It's absolutely a-okay. They understand why things are going on. When you are someone that is surrounded by wolves, it's common sense that you're going to start distancing yourself from everybody when they do something suspicious, something fishy. You're like, well, um, you know, when Johnny did that last year, it turned out that someone was trying to run me off the road. Now you're doing the same thing, so I don't know if you're about to run me off the road, so let me distance myself from you, right? So that's kind of how that is. So, but someone knows why you are doing the things you're doing, why you're speaking the way you do, why you move the way you do right someone at your job may be trying to betray you as well i'm telling you the companies you're working for they know and it's not just the lower level employees it's the higher ups within those companies they've been bribed they've been bribed to interfere with your forward movement to block some type of blessing from coming to you and it's not going to work someone has so much ego that they think they're going to be successful with blocking your work they're not they're not. No, someone, yeah, I'm telling you, you see this? You are going to receive this Ten of Pentacles. They're not going to be able to block it. It's just a matter of divine timing. And whoever is supposed to offer you or give you this offer, they know that. So they're just sitting back like, well, it's not right now. Right now, it's not the right, it's not the right time because when they come into this position at this moment, there's going to be too much chaos. These people are going to be, going to be trying to destroy this person. And take from them what's, what's theirs. Block them in some way, shape, or form. 
but you best believe you will be receiving your abundance. Do you see this growth here? You literally went from a four of pentacles where you're having to pinch spinning, hold on to money, budget really tightly, and boom, ten of pentacles. Do you see how God works, how God operates? Do you see how God operates? Like, it's almost like an overnight that rags to riches. Literally, like from the four of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, you have business partners you're going to be working with. You have people you can trust. These are people of high moral characters. They know what they're doing. Don't have to pretend to be business owners and things like that. And they're going to know that you know what you're talking about, what you're doing, because you took the time to study and perfect your craft. And if there's something you need help with, guess what? They're going to provide those resources to you so you do know and learn what you need to. That's blessings. Knowledge is a blessing. It's a privilege. It's a blessing. There are people in third world countries, second world countries that don't have access to education. Some that do have access have to walk sometimes five hours, eight hours just to get to school, have to sleep on the school campus. And these are kids sometimes having to go through this just so they can have education. Meanwhile, we in the Western world, we have access to free education. We have access to technology information and we neglect it we don't we don't appreciate those things that's because it's readily available to us if, if if it wasn't readily available to us i bet you we will appreciate it knowledge is power knowledge is privilege okay and some of you you're showing up here in your page of cups queen of cups energy you have a different kind of knowledge people cannot take from you and this has to do with spiritual knowledge if I told you all half of the stuff that I know, I wouldn't be allowed to be on YouTube. I would not be allowed to be on YouTube. When I mean like the back to the beginning of time, back to the beginning of time. That's how far back I can go. But there are certain things you know you just don't say. There are some uh, uh, spiritual people going missing because they're saying things they shouldn't be saying. You have certain knowledge and that's just for you and the most high to know. You can't tell the public everything. Because people will misuse those informations. So whatever you know, sometimes you have to keep that to yourself for your safety. It's not that the most high, most high can't protect you is it's the fact that why bring problems to yourself when you don't need to the most high didn't guide you to disclose those informations okay i can tell you the whole process of incarnating what you can expect to happen why you're incarnating what your karma is your specific karma the one on the grant we all have multiple karmas we're learning and working up but the 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 cream that cream the cream the cream the big one you're dealing with i can literally sit across from you and tell you hey this is your karma this is what you need to fix this is what you're supposed to be learning this lifetime so you don't repeat this foolishness again in the next lifetime that's how some of us are blessed with knowledge okay people know who you are when you enter certain rooms they see you and all they see is the glory of God, the light of God shining. And immediately, if they are dark, this is what they want to do to you. Destroy you, but they can't. You have people bending over backwards to destroy some of you and they will never be able to. Let them keep spending money to bribe people. And let those idiots keep expect, accepting the money for the bribery. At the end of the day, all of them will be sitting together watching you elevate in life. Family, friends, enemies, foes, whoever you want to call them. They will all be sitting back and watching you elevate. You see this growth here? This growth here? Let them. They have the money to waste. They have the resources to waste. But pretty soon, they won't have those resources to waste. Guess what? Because they've overused it. They splurged it on trying to defeat you and block you from your destiny. 
Some of your enemies are about to be out on the streets begging for money. They don't know that. Some of your enemies are about to be spending the last few decades of their lives in prison. They don't know that. Some are going to be spending the rest of this lifetime in poverty. They don't know that. But because they are narcissists, egotistical, and few entitled, and they've gotten, they've gotten accustomed to a way of living, honey, they feel invincible. They think they can do, do you something, block your move. Someone thinks they have power to block another person's path. You don't. It's a facade. It's an illusion. The Most High is letting you carry out your actions for a reason. Because what you're being, what you're doing is being recorded and it's going to be used against you to destroy you, to defeat you. What's coming for you, sir, madam? You can't even predict it. I'm talking about finito, flat out. You won't be able to recover from it. This is what's coming for a lot of your enemies. There will be no recovery. Someone has put someone through some type of tumultuous experience that they themselves will be going through. Is that remember when you had that star seed going through all of that nonsense? It's your turn. Is that you like to play mental games? We like to play mental games too. This is someone's future. They don't realize it. Everything is going to be exposed about you. Everything. Just like your just like your enemies are out here trying to, to disclose information about you to embarrass you and things like that. Everything is going to be exposed about them. Now we'll get to see who has the real power. Who's the real tough cookie? Because if you can dish it out, what you should be able to take it, correct? You should be able to take it if you can dish it. We'll see how much of a tough cookie you are when your friends are no longer there and you have to defend yourself by yourself. We'll see. When all the people you've been working with are no longer surrounding you to make you feel powerful, invincible, and whatnot, you don't have money anymore to buy friendships and things of that nature. Because that's what a lot of these people are doing is buying friendships, buying connections. Meanwhile, you star seeds, you don't have to pay a goddamn money to anyone for them to work with you. The most high sends people to you. He said, hey, go to the star seed. They're one of your kind. You have a contract with them. They, sometimes they don't even know why they're coming towards you. They just know that you are someone that's important and they, they're supposed to be working with you. So they come to you, present you with an opportunity. You know, they're like, well, we really want to work with you. We find your, your, your business to be fascinating. We think you can do this for us and we're willing to work with you. What resources do you need so that we can make sure this happens? And you tell them and they provide it. That's, this is how the Most High takes care of his kind. I promise you the devil does not do this for his people or her people. I promise you the devil does not do that. You put your hand out to the devil. What does the devil do? Put his, his or her hand out to you. It's a, oh, you need $50,000. What are you going to give me in return? And the Most High does not do that. The devil is always asking for something in return. And if you don't have anything to offer, what do they want? Your soul? It's like, until you pay back my $50,000, you belong to me now. If I call you at 3 a.m., you need to be ready at 3, 3 a.m. to move. If I tell you go there, you go there. If I tell you sit down, you sit down. Don't talk to that person, you don't talk to that person. Bind it. They bind it themselves to these contracts. Meanwhile, you're free as a butterfly. You don't have any obligations to people. You're not binded to any contracts to these people, to anyone. The only contract you care about is the one that has to do with you and the most high and you fulfilling your purpose. And it's always going to stay that way. Your enemies know they cannot touch you. You're about to be successful in business, new, 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 new relationships. You could be ending up in a marriage as well. New family, healthy family dynamic, healthy collaborations, a healthy partnership. And you two will have everything. When I say everything, everything. 
love, genuine love, equal give and take love. Love where you're pouring into each other. This is what you, a lot of you are about to have. And this is why the enemy has been working overtime to block this. They don't have that. They'll never have it. I'm telling you, you're about to be in high honor. You are already someone of high honor in spirit, but it's about to manifest in the material. When people see some of you, they can't stop staring. They don't know why they're staring, but they can't stop staring at you. They're like, I know there's something about this person. It's your light. It's the favor of God. It's the love of God on you. Okay? And your enemies are delusional enough to believe they can block your, 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 your destiny. They said, who the heck do you think you are? I'm telling you. Two people of the same energy, same magnitude, same importance are about to part up. A temperance and a star, an angelic character and a star are about to partner up. Someone knows who you are on the core level. They don't have to ask you any questions. That did you do this? Did you accept this money? Why is someone saying you did it? They will look at you and already know what you're about that i already know like these people are fooling around i don't need to ask you any questions what do you want to eat today for lunch someone's going to know you on a core level it may be a little terrifying for you at first but you too will be like this whether it's business or love it'll be like this some of you are going to have both with this person your enemies know you are protected there's nothing they can do to you all they can do is try to intimidate you, but you're not intimidated because, well, you have the power and you know it. They know you know you have the upper hand in a situation, in your situation. They know they can't touch you. All they can do is sneak around, keep bribing people and emptying out their bank accounts, not knowing that that's what they're doing is depleting their own finances, their resources. Meanwhile, while they're depleting theirs, yours is about to be going up like that. Your pathway is clear. Um, didn't I just say your pathway is clear? Your pathway is clear. You're sealing onto karma waters. You are being advised to move, relocate, do whatever you need to do. If you need to leave a company, leave that company, but make sure you have something insured before you leave that company. Move in silence. You don't have friends at work. You don't have friends in the communities you live in. They've all been paid they have all been paid to block you, to watch you, to stalk you, make you feel uncomfortable, invade your privacy. And a lot of you know, and you know who these people are, and you need to learn to be quiet, sit, up, sit across from them when you get to work, act like you don't know. They know you know. They're wondering, are you going to say something? Don't say nothing. Don't say anything. They are binded to contracts they have to fulfill, but they know these contracts will not be fulfilled. It was an illusion. Someone may have misinterpreted, misjudged your character as far as you being an easy takedown, and they're finding out, oh no, this is not an easy takedown. I effed up royally. I effed up really bad. Now I'm binded to this contract with the devil. I can't fulfill the contract, so I have to keep pretending like I'm uh, uh, going to be successful in destroying this person. Meanwhile, the devil that they took the bribery from, he or she knows they can't destroy you. That's how much of a trickster the devil is. The devil will see someone and it will know that's, one, that's not one of my people. I know not to fool with that person. But they'll come to you, Billy, and say, hey, Billy, I'll give you $50,000 if you take that person down from me, destroy their work, destroy their forward movement, lie on them, smear their character, defamation of character, all kinds of stuff. And you, Billy, you don't know what you're getting into. You see someone in this energy and you're like, oh, well, that's going to be an easy take. She's always laughing. She's always smiling. She thinks everyone has a good heart. And then you go to destroy this person and you, you meet this energy. It's not this person by themselves. There's an energy behind this person. This is called protection. 
This person's ancestors, guardian angels in the universe, this is the energy they're in when it's time to protect this person. And you find out real quickly, oh my gosh, I effed up. I made a wrong turn, but it's too late to make a right turn. You already made a wrong turn. You have to fulfill your contract. You cannot fulfill this contract. None of you can fulfill this contract. You've ended your pathway. You have karma to pay. You have debt to pay. The people that are approaching you with these contracts, they know they cannot destroy this energy. But you all don't know that. You're not, you're not uh, uh, embracing your spiritual side. Spirituality is not something you understand. And even some of them that understand it, they don't care. The money looks good. The price tag was too big for them to turn down. So they accepted it. And this is about to be them. This is about to be them. Someone's going to be telling their wife, honey, I'm so sorry. I thought we were going to be okay. I thought it was going to work out. Um, yeah, you thought wrong. You thought wrong. You thought being malicious to someone was going to lead to your elevation prominently. You thought stealing from someone, blocking someone, collaborating with other people was going to lead to your abundance. Can you make it make sense? Since when in the history of earth has that ever been successful? It's always found out. You really thought destroying another person was going to lead to abundance for you permanently. You got to do time. I'm telling you, this person's pathway is clear. Clear, clear. The universe is watching this person 24-7. Aura of the forces, I'm being corrected. All of the forces of the universe are watching this person. <clears throat> People from other planets, where whatever planet these star beings come from, they are being watched by their people. There is nothing you can do to block these kind of beings from fulfilling their purpose as long as they are willing to fulfill their purpose and are sticking to their contract, that's all that matters. Nothing else you all do matters. Everything you're doing is for educational purposes. They're learning your planet, learning your way of doing things. This is a tower for you all. Some of you accept their bribery. You didn't understand what you were getting into and you're about to find out. You're falling from grace. There are religious leaders in these covens that partook in these cults and covens Falling down from grace. This is how it was always destined to be. Sorrows. I'm telling you. I'm bondage. Do you see that eight of swords? This is what's ahead of all of you. Imprisonment. Entrapment. Light. Poverty. Just like you all did not have a problem with watching someone suffer, the most high angels, whoever, the universe is not going to have a problem with sitting back and watching you all suffer. It's that, hey, this is what you say you wanted, so this is what we're giving you. Life is a projection of the energy you put out. So if you were putting this energy out for someone else, we are, we are uh, uh, um, assuming this is what you wanted for yourself. So we're returning it to you because this person didn't send you any negative energy. So you're going to get back what you put out. And this is what's ahead of a lot of you. The plurality. And pop, uh, pop, uh, poverty. <clears throat> Mental illness. <clears throat> you, you are about to be living in like. People think that, oh, if we just hide this letter, we just hide this information, we block this person, they'll never receive it. And we can keep going on about our wicked ways, stealing from companies, stealing from employees, stealing from people. No, dear, that's an illusion. <clears throat> that is an illusion. You will not keep stealing and keeping other people subdued while you're living a good life. It's being taken away from you. Every last one of you is being taken away from you. I'm telling you, balance, justice, karma. Okay? And you all will be defeated. 
<clears throat> you will be defeated. This is what happens when you're greedy, when you let greed take a, a, a hold of you. When you refuse to heal, when you refuse to learn the lessons that you're meant to learn. Every situation you encounter, there's a lesson to learn in it. There's a lesson to learn in it. And when you are purposely refusing to learn the lesson because it makes you feel uncomfortable, you are ensuring your own ending. Hmm. Whoever's coming, whoever you're going for is going to defeat you. They're going to defeat you. They've already defeated you. Some of these battles are already over and you don't even know it. I'm telling you. You're already defeated. <clears throat> Something has been exposed about actions people took in regards to an abundance, a position, a job offer, a business. It's all been exposed. All of the actions you all have been taking to martyr someone, to block someone's finances, block someone's forward movement, it's been exposed. The court knows, officials know, leaders of a community know, it's already known. So everything you all are doing is just ensuring your endings. There are things you people are saying behind the scenes and you don't even realize will be used against you in the court of law. They said, oh, you say you don't have anything to do with this? Give us one second. Can you pull out the recording from June 8, 2023? Oh, is this your voice? Is this you on camera? Is this your handwriting? This is your email, right? This email came from your account? Okay, we need you to explain. Someone has martyred themselves because of greed. Someone has martyred themselves because of greed. They thought they were going to block your forward movement, but they're not able to. You've removed yourself from this situation. The Most High correction, the Most High has removed you from these people. So they have to sneak around to cause you endings, but they can't. They've martyred themselves. They've martyred themselves. If one plan doesn't work, what? They come up with another plan. They say, it's okay, we have, we have another plan. This one is gonna work. This one right here, this one right here, this right here, this one right here, this is gonna get the job done. And then they go to do it, and they say, one, one, one disappointment failure you will not be destroying any of these star seeds you people were guided to see things from a different point of view a higher perspective and say hey now we've been patient with you now for a while and we've been guiding you not to do what you're doing and you're still being stubborn to take actions to separate someone from the blessings and we're kind of sick of you we're kind of done with this so this is what's going to happen everything you've been trying to do to this person yeah you're going through it how about that oh no 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 i stop i stop oh no this is not the time to stop you were supposed to stop a whole year ago you were supposed to stop five years ago ten years ago six months ago you kept going because you felt what? Invincible. You thought you had all your ducks lined up. You thought you had all your I's dotted and T's crossed. You had enough people on your side to support you to carry out this malicious plan, block this person, and you didn't know the whole time. You all were just exposing yourself. <clears throat> people should not have price tags. Someone should not be able to come to you and tell you, hey, I have a million dollars. I need you to block this person from getting this position. Hey, I have $2 million. I need you to keep this person in this, in this company and they work for it with you. 
so that they don't leave and go to the next company and receive their abundance. Hey, I'm gonna give you $2 million. This person is living in your house or in your apartment building. I need you to mess with them. Go into their home when they're sleeping or when they leave. Take stuff out of there to make them feel uncomfortable. I need you to put cameras in their home so we can find evidence on them that's gonna make them look unfit for this position. Some of you have been being watched for so long. Your enemies are set on finding something against you and they can't find nothing. No evidence. Someone made up a lot of lies so that they could get the authorities to watch you, to find evidence. And lo and behold, they haven't been able to find anything, but they're still looking because now these people have some type of addiction to watching you. They can't turn the cameras off. They can't turn their phones off. Your investigation was over months ago. Why are you still watching someone? You're now a pervert. Oh, I'm sorry. They say you've been a pervert. I was corrected. You've been a pervert. All of these people are sitting back and watching someone on camera. Watching you. Can't find any evidence. Won't be able to find any evidence. Someone went and told some type of elaborate lie. Because why? They made it believable to the authorities. Now the authorities themselves are sitting and watching you, letting something illegal take place when they know they should not be doing that. Investigation was over months ago for some of you, years ago, but these people are still watching you, invading your privacy because they're addicted to your energy. They said, oh, we saw uh, 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 we saw uh, uh, angels around him or her. So we have to watch them. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's your way of excusing your pervertish, pervert ways. You're a pervert. That's what it is. You're sick. You all are sick minded. The lies are not hold, holding up. So what are you watching someone for? You've been studying some of these people for five years, 10 years, two years, six months. You're not finding anything, won't find anything. You all know that. Why are you still watching someone? Why are you watching someone? There's nothing to find. Someone has has uh, set things up so well that the authorities believe someone. They say, hey, this is an example. This woman is selling sex in her apartment, in her house. We have proof to, uh, to show you. They meet people online. They're selling themselves and things like that. Or they're selling uh, drugs in their apartment or their house. We have proof to show you. We think you should watch them because they are a danger to our community. Someone out here, they didn't even have to do that. They have connections in the justice system. So all they had to do was call their cousin, Billy, or their friend, Ben, from 10 years ago. They've known Ben maybe for 30 years or something like that. All they had to do was tell Ben a lie. Ben is corrupt. Ben doesn't honor his badge. He doesn't respect his badge. So Ben waited to the right time to go in and set cameras up in these homes. So that Johnny could watch you. Johnny is a pervert. Ben is a pervert. Birds of a feather flock together. The karmics are fighting. The karmics are falling. And they won't be getting up. These are all people that are sick minded. Some of these people are going to want to apologize to you. You don't need any apology. You made your bed late in there. You knew what you were getting into. It had to be explained to you. If someone is giving you $50,000, they're not just going to give you the $50,000. They're going to explain something to you. Like, hey, this is what we're doing while we're doing it. So you know why you're doing what you're doing. 
right? So you understood what you were getting into. So why are you not coming back to apologize? You have a mind of your own. Some of these people are going to say, well, I didn't really understand. No, you understood what you're getting into. They lied to me. No. Whether they lied to you, told the truth, you had access to this person to ask them questions. Like, hey, this person told me you did this. Is this true? There's some type of man child going around pretending like someone did something to them. No one did anything to this person. There's a man child going around crying, making up these elaborate stories about either a feminine energy or something like that. They didn't do nothing to this man. It's a lie. It's a lie. Empress Starseed, do you see all of this good card, these good cards that are coming out for you? The truth is known. What's yours will be given to you. Right now, your enemies are just buying time. People, wives, and their mothers are involved in here paying people to do something to keep this scam going on. To keep some type of scheme going on. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're stepping into a new beginning. A new opportunity is coming your way. It, it just, it doesn't make sense. It's like, People are trying to block you from one thing, but you're receiving something better for some of you. And for some of you, the most high is just buying time and say, oh, yeah, 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 we get it. You're powerful. We're about to see how powerful you are. Some of you are in hermit, and if you're being told to come out of hermit, move, take action. Someone's trying to hide something in the court system. They can't hide it. There's someone very wise in the court system. They know the truth and they, they respect their license. They are going to be doing the right thing. Someone thinks they have connections so deep in the court system. They can force things to go their way. Rule awakening. Someone is not going to be helping you. The judge you're expecting to be on top of a case may not even be able to uh, be on top of that case. It's going to be someone else. Someone else that cares about their license, their job. They care about doing the right thing. So they're going to make sure that the wrongs are made right. This is what people don't understand. They'll move 10 steps ahead Hey, we're going to have this court date on this day. We need you to take over this case so it can go in our favor. And the corrupt person is like, oh, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, you know I got you. This isn't our first rodeo. We've done this before. All you have to do is make a call and I'm there. Uh, Yeah. And then they go to work the next week. They say, hey, we're going to put Johnny on top of this case. We don't need you for this case. They say, oh, shoot. There's smoke on the mountain. They're calling their corrupt friend now. There's smoke on the mountain. Where there's smoke, there's fire. So they know something is going on. They said, there's no way you can manage this case. We really need this to go in our favor. And they're like, nah. Like, if they decide I can't, I cannot. So there's a wise person in the court system that's about to be bringing balance to a situation. They say, yeah, your evidence is not, uh, it's not holding up. <clears throat> burden, I'm telling you. Someone is burdened. Yeah, someone's wife, someone's mother, someone's baby mama, whoever this is, is burdened. They are all burdened because balance is being brought into this situation. They were not able to block someone, steal from someone. There's someone that's very wise behind the scenes that watches tarot. And they take tarot seriously. If it's someone that knows what they're doing, they take it seriously. 
and then look at and listen to what the person that's reading is saying. Someone knows what's going on and your enemies don't know that. They're about to be really surprised. There's a wife character that's really burdened. She's been making all, all this, causing all this ruckus behind the scenes. She didn't think she would be found out, honey. It looks like you're burdened. Your partner in crime is burdened with you. Someone was being sent to steal from someone they can't. They're exposed. Dang. Someone is busted. Whoever this person is, they're busted. There's a queen of cups that is busted. She may have sent some type of message, interfered with a message, stole something, blocked something, did something. So a sister is busted. She's busted. She can't hide anymore. She's being seen for exactly who she is. And she's going to have to answer for everything she's been doing. Okay? She will have to answer for everything. Is it, uh, we need you to come in on Friday and explain something to us. She may try to go on a run, but honey, where are you going to go? We need you to come in on Friday at 10 a.m. We just have a few questions to ask you. <laughs> Not looking good for you, darling. We just have a few questions to ask you. And she goes in and it's up there for I don't know how long. Her stories aren't adding up. They aren't matching up anymore. She said a different story a week ago. This Today, she has a whole different story to tell about why she was in an environment that she was not supposed to be in or why she was in someone's account. Yeah. All these people are going through endings. They're being exposed, losing homes, losing cars, marriages, all kinds of stuff. Living in fear. Living in fear. This is what they wanted for you. It's like the good life is over. It's like, oh, it was good while it lasted, but it's over now. It's over and done with. How long did you all think this was going to keep going? I'm telling you, these people cannot defend themselves. They're going to lose this case, and you're going to have victory. They cannot defend themselves. Someone is about to lose a court case miserably. It's an overly defensive or sensitive, insufficient defense, disadvantage, indecision, lacking confidence, vulnerability, runaway, fight. Okay? You're protected, but your enemies are not. <laughs> your enemies are not protected. You're going to be destroying all of your enemies. Whoever the leader of this organization, whatever this is, that got gather all of his minions, you're going to be taking that person down. You're moving forward. You're almost at the end of your uh, road, right? You push forward. Just like they've been working overtime to end you, you've been working overtime to push forward. And you are in sure victory. Everything is going to be exposed. Exposed. Uh oh, excuse me. Choose to move forward. There's someone that wants to come back towards you. It's like, no, that's not an option. I don't choose you. You're not my option. Mm. It's like, nah, I'm good. This could be someone from your past. For someone out there, one second, please. There's a gentleman that wants to be with you, but he's not certain. If you're going to accept an offer from him.
He's not certain if you two can mend things together, get back together. That's your decision to make. I don't know what this person did to you, they didn't do to you, but they want to reconnect with you. This could be someone from your past, but I don't know. I will keep my distance. Someone may just want to come to you after they've martyred themselves because they know you have abundance coming in. They don't have any genuine intentions for you, so I will stay away. I will stay away from this person. Get away from them. Like move away from this person. Yeah, absolutely. It's a tower. People have been paying for all kinds of stuff to happen. Is that we'll pay you? A million dollars if you'll put them out of their home. We'll pay you this if you'll trap them in a contract. We'll pay you this if you'll keep them stuck at your company. We'll pay you this if you'll leave them. Someone was paid to leave their partner. They said, we're going to pay you $50,000 if you leave your partner out in the cold. We know you say you love her. We know you say you love him. But here's some money. How much do you love them? Oh, I mean, I was just saying that to be cute. I'll take the $50,000. Thank you. And they are now going through this. They accepted bribery. All of these people accepted bribery. Meanwhile, you sat back and you watched them. You watched all of these people. They didn't know you, you were aware. They just assumed that you were an idiot, dumbfounded, naive. And you sat back and watched everyone. Every time someone turned, you knew they had accepted the bribery. Because one day you will come in, they're all nice, talking to you, bushy eye, bright eye, bushy tail, have light in their eyes and all kinds of stuff. And then the next day you come or the next week you come, they can barely look you in the eye, can't even hold their head up, been drinking a lot because their conscience are eating them up. And you sit back and you watch them and you let their conscience keep eating them up. Because you know what they've done. They've betrayed you. They've sold their soul to the devil. And the price was absolutely cheap. Absolutely cheap. Someone paid people to end you. They wanted, wanted to cause some type of natural disaster in your life. So they paid people. They didn't want you moving forward. They didn't want you having victory. They didn't want you having a genuine connection with someone to interfere with a whole lot in your life. So they pay people. They're like, we've done all of this and it's not working. They're, they're still moving forward. So we're going to pay for a natural disaster to happen in their life. It's not natural if you have to pay to have it done. It's not natural. It's not natural. Now they're going through endings. The people that accepted the bribery are going through endings. Okay, they said we have to see this person out on the streets. We don't want them having an address because then they won't receive this mail. We want them moving from place to place, living in hotels and stuff like that, motel rooms. We don't want them being stable. Someone's ego is about to destroy them and everyone else. Your enemies may not even be able to take you to court when some of the information comes out that are coming out. It's going to be the, oh, we're so sorry. We we were just joking. We were just kidding with you. I know we said we're going to take you to court, but we were just kidding. <laughs> Silly us. Silly us. Silly of us. The thing that we could take you to court. Some of your enemies are about to be singing you songs and stuff. It's that we were just being silly, honey. <laughs> you know we love you. Is that BS? Talk to my ancestors. Talk to my lawyer. My lawyer will show you some love, but it won't be the kind of love that you like. So, 
star seeds, you have the you have the permission of the most high to keep it pushing, keep pushing forward in on your journey, on your path. Do not live in fear. I don't care what the enemy is doing around you. Keep pushing forward. Keep moving. They don't have to choose you. These people want you to feel like you are being excluded from something. No, you're not. They are being excluded. Because they know once you step into what's yours, they're done. You don't... Starseeds don't care about being in groups. Those types of energies, as a matter of fact, being around too many people is a little uncomfortable for them. These types of people like and cherish being alone. You see them alone. They aren't necessarily alone because of the forces around them. But in the physical, they don't mind being alone. That's when they thrive the most. They thrive the most. I'm telling you, your enemies are disappointed. They are disappointed. Going through endings. Someone's being told to sit the heck down. He said, I'm going to go to her and I'm going to do this. I'm going to say she didn't did this. And the source is that if you don't sit your behind down, that karma I'm cooking up for you is going to be boiling real quickly. And be done in about five minutes if you don't sit down instead of in uh, three months. I, I, I wish you would. I want you to bust up move. And she sat down. I don't want to end my read on the Four of Cups, which I know is your enemies being told to sit down. They're not going to be able to do anything to you. They cannot do you something. Some of these people have been planning to have you on a live just so they can make sure you don't receive an offer. And it's not going to happen. You're still moving forward. Source, please let us end this reading on a positive. Oh, yes, honey. They cannot. Your enemies cannot bring you problems. They cannot bind you to nothing. It's over with. What does this say? The beginning of awakening, release from constraints, break free from bondage, liberation, freedom, injustice, be forgiving. Honey, mm -mm. they can't bring you problems. They can't bind you to any contracts. They cannot restrain you in nothing. And because they cannot do any of those things, they see it as an injustice because they've been able to do it to other people. They've been able to mislead people and trick them into trapping themselves in these cults and covens and organizations and entities, these dark entities, but they can't do it with you. And because they can't take you down, they feel that it's an injustice. It's like, we've taken everybody else down. Why can't we take this person down? Because they're not one of yours. They are not one of yours. Your masters know that this is not one of theirs. And they didn't tell you that. They sent you on a goose hunt. You thought you were chasing a goose only to find out it was a swan. Don't touch that swan. Leave that swan alone. You obviously know the difference between a goose and a swan. Leave that swan alone. Okay? This person is not one of yours. Some of these people now want you to join their, their mess. You can't. That's not what you're made for. Some of you were created to destroy Covens. But now the Covens want you to join them. You can't do that. You cannot do that. That's contradictory to your purpose. Okay, that's contradictory to your purpose. You cannot do that. And, um, you know very well this person is meant to destroy what you stand for. And you want to be like, hey, why don't you come work with us? We'll make sure you're taken care of. Oh, what do you mean taking care of? Because I'm pretty sure you tried to take care of me and a couple of months ago as in not 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 being here anymore is that the kind of taking care of i'm supposed to be looking forward to like you're just we're just supposed to go from you trying to have me taking care of 
to now you taking care of me? We need we need it to make sense. I need you to elaborate on this taking care of. And you're looking at them like, no, thank you. I don't need you to take care of me. I'm already taken care of by the most high. My ancestors make sure all of my needs are met. This is why you see some of us, when we live in poverty, you can't understand why we still walk out with our head hell high. We're still happy, happier than you are with the money and the resources. You don't understand why we are. Because we're taken care of. We understand. We know how the story is going to end. It's already been revealed to us. We have that inner and higher knowledge. So we know how something is going to happen. When you're not awakened, you don't know any of those things. So when someone like this opens their mouths and tells you, hey, this is not going to end in your favor. Don't do that. You laugh at them. You're like, you're one person. It's like 400 of us. Like, what can you do? You can't do nothing. You don't have any connections. No one is protecting you. You don't have family. You don't have friends. Like, what can you do? And then to come and find out and to meet this energy here. And say, hold on. Regroup. Hold on. We are going to have a meeting on Friday because uh, something is not working here. Something is not adding up. And they go for their meeting on Friday. Say, hey, did you see what happened? Like, we sent someone to go ahead and have this person out of here. And the person ended up in a car accident. I said, oh, it's just a coincidence. You know, car accidents happen all the time. We'll just find someone else to do it. They go and find a, a Joe. Hey, Joe, go to this person's house. We want you to um, alive them. Poor Joe. Joe doesn't know that the previous person is a goner. They've lost their health or they're crippled now, something like that. And Joe's all about his money. He's about business. He gets the job done. Joe is reliable. Joe has done this before. One shot to the forehead is all Joe needs. That's all he, he's going to be doing. Joe never misses. Okay, Joe is on his way to the Star Seas house to take her out. Oop. Car accident. You know what? Regroup. Let's go back to the, the table. On Saturday, we need to have a meeting. So the first person ended up in a car accident and the second person ended up in a car accident. First down, accident, second time, maybe. Maybe the third time will be the charm. My dear, these people are like on their hundredth turn, but they're so stubborn and wicked. They're not going to stop. They're going to keep coming. They're going to keep recruiting people to come for you. And the people that are accepting the bribery, they themselves are experiencing endings and stuff. They aren't going to say it out loud because they're too embarrassed. And the people that are paying them are going through endings too. Too embarrassed to say it, but they're determined to destroy you. So they're going to keep trying. They're all going to keep going through endings. And they're wondering, well, how is this happening? We send like 10,000 people to this person's home and none of them are, have been able to take them down. We've taken over their neighborhood. We've taken over the company that they work for. We bought the apartment building that they stay in. Why can't we take them down? We have a, a, a agent living across from there or next door to them. And so I just looking at them like all of that is irrelevant to me. You come after my child, I will make sure that you are taken care of in due time. All of this mess you're doing is just entertainment. So you better, better have this same energy when I come back for you. There, Some of these people are having a hard time finding people now to bribe. And say, uh, you want me to what? You want me to go and analyze that person? Why can't you do it? People are asking questions now. Questions that you have asked before. And you say, you want me to what? How come you can do it? There's like 400 of you. Why are you asking me to do it? Like any of you can go and do it, but that's because they know they cannot. There's consequences. This is why they're trying to set up, set people up, set you all up in crimes you have nothing to do with, bring you legal issues. They cannot. They cannot bring you legal issues. They're being told to sit down, right? Think about why they are where they are, why things are going the way they are. 
Do they need to change something about themselves? Do they need to stop doing something? Who picked a fight? Why did you pick a fight with this person? What is your motives for coming after this person? They didn't do anything to you. You need to face the truth. Accept the truth for what it is. Your ego got the best of you. This is why you're coming after someone. Your ego got bruised. This is why a lot of these people are coming after you because their egos were bruised. They thought they were better than you. They were more fit for something that belonged to you. And no matter what they've done, they can't have it. Someone thinks they're a better version of someone else. And they think they're more worthy of your blessings than you are. And they've been trying to steal your blessings. They think, oh, you know, if we just keep causing stagnations, eventually they'll decide to give it to me. No, they're not. You're not receiving their blessing. You're not going to receive it. And even some of you, if you do, it's going to be taken away from you. You're going to lose it. It's going to be the literal end of you. Okay? Source, what is your advice to us? What would you like us to be aware of? What would you like us to know today? Okay? You people, some of you are keep being told to say this. You have family members that are wondering how you are still moving forward. These are family members that accept their bribery from these characters behind the scenes. Some of them you talk to, they're like, oh, you're still, you're still here, but it's not going to come out that way. It's, it's more like, oh, wow, I'm so glad you're doing okay. I was like, really? Are you? <laughs> Are you married? Are you really glad that I'm doing okay? You really think I don't know what you've been doing? Were you part talking, Mary? Are you sure you're glad that I'm here? Because the longer I'm here, Mary, the more you're getting closer to being exposed legally. So are you sure you're happy that I'm here, Mary? Really? Okay, darling, we're about to see. Four. Four, the number four has to do with protection. When you see this number, it means that you are being reminded by your angels that they are watching over you. They're protecting you. Okay? So you're, if you see this, they're letting you know, hey, something is going on, but you're protected from it. Okay? It said you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. I am stable. Absolutely. 15, which is 6. 6 has to do with healing. Moving on to karma waters. Okay? So, in taking action, moving in life, right? Taking action, quick action to move and bring balance into your life, whether that's you separating from people, places, and things, and starting over brand new, okay? It has to do with you putting in effort, putting in work for you to keep moving, moving forward, okay, until you accomplish your goals, okay? So, it said, your love for others is powerful, and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. You are curious and oh, your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people or who will benefit from you, from your warm and Lord have mercy. I can't read to this. So let's start over. Lord have mercy. Source, take charge of this conversation, this situation. Because a sister is struggling. How are you in school for your master's and you can't read? Make it make sense. And sisters, take the wheel. Okay, let's try this again. Your love for others is powerful, and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who will benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. I am wise. Absolutely. Anyways, thank you all for watching and supporting the YouTube channel. Stay blessed, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.